All right, you guys. It's Troy Rabbit here, working on a new project today. We'll be drilling a shallow well, hopefully to a depth of 25 feet, and we'll extend an additional blah, two feet, I guess, above the ground. So um, this is how we got it going. This is the first time that I've ever done this. So, um, I hope maybe to make this video in three parts. The first part is to show you the um, prep phase. And the second part will be maybe, I guess, to show you a little bit um, of me doing it while I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, so anyway... Uh, most of the information that I gleaned from this from this project I got from digyourownwell.com I'll put a link uh, to the website right down here right down there so um, so far I'm only into this project about 200 bucks at the end of the video I figure the last part of the video will be all the ins and outs and the, the problems that I had and whatever, just to talk about how it went. And also, um, I'll drop a pricing list. I pretty much have one already, so based on my receipts, things that you'll need, most of it you can get from either Lowe's or Home Depot. It's pretty much the only two places you can get anything these days, huh? Alright, well, it starts to have a, a hole, um, just a small hole to get started. But what I wanted to do is, is we wanted to be able to bury the base of our well down there so it's not showing in case you know we decide we're not going to use it like if it's just like for an emergency thing or whatever I don't know it'll be kind of under the ground uh, hidden you know like how your sprinklers pop up when they go on but you know you don't want them up all the time plus they get broken so um, when we're done we'll seal the well down there um, with uh, probably con con or, uh, cement or bentonite all right no this is just you know well this is my makeshift scaffolding gonna need it and let's come over here let's talk about the wellhead a little bit this is the wellhead I made this um, this is a two inch T um, on the sides here and here are two inch to three quarters inch okay and then and then of course these elbows are three quarter inch fittings and these are for your garden hoses you're gonna put garden hoses in there and um, anyway they're Audis they're three-quarter inch Audis and I actually I went around and I I, I wanted to tighten up my hoses r real tight and make sure I had plenty of good water pressure so I used a pair of channel locks on them and I came over here and thought, oh, okay I'll cinch this one up well you don't do that <laughs> with these plastic couplers that they're not meant for that I actually I mean, I broke that thing right off, so what did I do? I just welded it on with some glue. Incidentally, I had to go back to the store to get some uh, parts because as I laid everything out um, for the well pipe itself, I noticed a couple parts didn't fit. So that was, that's a good thing to do that, to lay all your stuff out, make sure it's all going to fit. You don't want to get right in the middle of something and have it not work out especially when you're right in the middle of drilling or washing a well um, th these pipes are known to get stuck I understand so um, so yeah you use the primer on these babies 
How does it do that? Use primer on these babies on both sides. So like this is actually a, a it's a two inch and it is two and a half inches long. And this is a coupler that I made to, and this will go over the top of our well, which the first, the first of our casing will be right here. And this is the one I would actually like to talk about. This is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna, we're gonna stick that baby over here with the top of that. Hoses will be here and here, right? This is gonna be the handle that I made, sort of. Um, I put a rubber grip right here for it, and um, I will just, just, I'll probably just use a drill or something like that to, um, to lower it, or to, to actually raise it as, the, as, the, as we get lower and lower and lower. Oh, we'll climb down. I think I'm just going to do one segment at a time, but I actually prepared in advance um, by putting these couplings on, um, just so that, you know, I mean, you don't want to, you got to prepare, everything's got to be done as, as fast as you can when you're doing this, you don't want water running all over the place, you don't want to be running all over the place, looking for stuff, putting things together, stuff that you could have already done. But, uh, so the, the main piece that I'm going to just talk about to get started is, in fact, this first piece. We're going to have the handle, right? And that's what we're going to use to to wrench back and forth, back and forth, while the water is running through the those pipes. And um, we're going to wash it down. The um, drill bit that I made... I made this out of metal. It's, uh, it's uh, I believe it is a six inch pipe nipple. And I cut it with a jigsaw. Actually, I didn't really cut it with a jigsaw. I, I cut it with a radial saw with a wood blade. Um, and it kicked up quite a bit of metal into my face but you can actually you can actually just not even use um, a metal drill bit you could um, let's just say this this is your drill right here you can actually just make sawtooth into these it, it, I mean I've I know you can do that but sometimes um, Maybe it works. Maybe it works. <laughs> I wanted to reuse, be able to reuse this, so it's not glued in. Just the coupling. Um, you want to put uh, at least one screw in. I put in two, so that as you twist back and forth, that thing's not gonna twist off and fall out. And you also don't want the screws to over penetrate the the inside of your drill bit because you're going to be dropping this piece of pipe down in there with a, a well screen and it also has couplers outside couplers and you just don't want it to get hung up on anything like like the well screen um, I've heard you can use you can use innies um, inside couplers I don't know um, if that it hinders the water flow in any way or I don't know maybe this this maybe it's better because of the smoothness on the outside of the well casing which is what these three pipes are they're gonna drill down approximately 30 feet and we'll drop our 25 feet I'm just doing a simple um, well you go go to uh, drill your own well.com and they'll they'll describe their good, better, best, and super good. So um, I'm doing good. Since this is my first one, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do the good one. And that is where we've got it laid out here. So once these three segments are in place and all in ground in the ground, you know, we'll, when this is all the way down, we'll put we'll cinch up another one and we'll we'll drive that one down and then that one's done we'll cinch up a, put up another one and we'll drive that one down 
as far as we can. And then, um, actually, before we get started, I would like to prime and put couplers on the well pipe itself that's going in. This over here, that's the well screen. You can't see it, but it's got like a million little slots. I had to actually order this. It, it wasn't very expensive. It was only like five bucks. And there's the freaking pipe I was looking all over for. Actually went to the store just to get another one of these. One pipe. I knew I put it somewhere where I wouldn't lose it. Damn. And I even looked in there too. It just was stuck in the bottom. So anyway, I don't know if you can see, but it has like a, a million tiny little slits in it. And this is what goes at the bottom. You know, I mean, it holds back the dirt, the water is supposed to enter into this pipe here, and then, you know, it's coupled to the next pipe. It's just coupled to the next pipe. Which, uh, is coupled to this pipe, maybe. And at the very end, at the very end, we're gonna have, we're gonna have, this is the pipe that's gonna stick out. That's the part that's gonna be under underground. And I have some couplers for that. I have essentially a coupler that's going to go on the end, the very end. I might even, you know, I might have to cut this down. But that goes there and this is threaded and it goes in there and so if we don't want it, looks ugly, whatever, we can bury it. If we want to use it, fine, unbury it, take that off, screw this in, that'll go above ground. And the pump for that is actually right here. And it's not, they're not really that much. I got a cheapy, but I know that that uh, one and a quarter pipe will actually screw up into the bottom of that. So just be, I mean, it's a heavy pipe. I mean, we're gonna have to make a platform for it or something. It's, it's a heavy pump. We'll have to make a platform for it or something. I'm not gonna demonstrate how to apply primer or glue. You know, look it up or read the directions. But basically, these two little things right here, they come together, primer and 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 uh, cement, rubber cement glue. Um, I think it's like 10 bucks for the two of them. Actually, I think it's less than that. I think it's eight dollars. But at the end of the video, I'll I'll do a I'll give you a price analysis. And I'll tell you exactly how long it took me to do all this. Um, as you can see, I mean, I'm not going to include all the time it took me to prepare for this. You can, you can pretty much guess. I'm hoping that the sign over here will reach me any day now because I'm freezing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you, you prime your coupler and you prime whatever end it's going to go on. Make sure it's clean and not wet. Wait for it to dry. Takes about maybe 30 seconds. Put the rubber cement in. Hold it in for nearly a minute. It dries fairly quick. And, um... I'm not going to actually attach this whole thing until we get this whole thing drilled, but I will put the couplers on, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I did miss one thing, talking about the drill head. 
there's a weep hole right there. You can't, yeah, there it is. You can see it. It's a, it's a 332 inch hole, and you need that for suction. Um, when you go to push down on your drill, I mean, you push it down, you'll need to pull it back up on occasion and push it back down, pull it back up. And when you pull it back up, you'll want to be able to get some air back into the pipe or you'll you'll want to have some kind of airflow. So that does it. That helps add some airflow into the top of your pipe. If you get stuck, you might need a little bit larger of a hole. But you'd be surprised how much water comes shooting out of there. So um, this is pretty much what you need. Uh, again, I'm going to use a drill to be able to quickly uh, tighten and release those. Um, you'll want a rag. You probably want some, some good boots, not shoes like this. Boy, I'm trying to ruin these shoes. Uh, so I got two hoses. One's from the front. I'm lucky enough to have this one that actually is attached to the sprinkling system where the water main comes in t towards the house. So, I mean, I don't know if it's how much more water pressure I'm going to get out of that. But I've, I've heard of guys doing this with just one hose, so um, two hoses, better than one I suppose. And um, without further ado, we will get started. It is Wednesday, February 26, 2014. Um, I'm getting started, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> 